Greetings YouTube on this very busy Tuesday, you know, the Tuesday of Marvel Contest of Champions usually signals two things to my brain. Either, number one, that you have the early access bundle, or number two, that you get patch notes for the next month. And because we are already in somehow the last week of May, thank God for the marketing team, uh, we have, <laughs> I gotta say, Hit Monkey. That guy looks like somebody I'd want to grab a beer with. He just looks like he's been through some things, and he's got some stories, and he ain't afraid to show them. But, uh, yeah, we have the most random... <laughs> I can't think of a more random banner ever in MCOC. For patch 27.1. Every time I see that number grow, I just feel even older. I don't know if that's just me. So, the escape is underway. Having just barely escaped from an odd hold and sell, Tigra and Hitmonkey must join forces to shake off Taylor Swift style. They're pursuers and find out who is behind them being locked up while being pursued. They start to investigate the circumstances of their captivity. What they discover is that there is a bigger plot at play with somebody pulling the strings from the shadows. Oh, it's all about finesse and skill. We hope you like animals because these two deadly creatures are entering the contest. This dapper little guy was just an ordinary monkey until his tribe gave him sanctuary to an on the run assassin. Blah, blah, blah. So we've got the hip monkey spotlight. Again, I got to say, he looks cool. I'd watch a movie on this guy. This looks like he should be in the new Men in Black. That's not going to suck. Um, so, yeah, we've got both champion spotlights. And then the island of Dr. Modoc. Ever since Modoc established his hotel, he's been working tirelessly on his experiments with champions. But the hotel has no place for his creations to live. Blah, blah, blah. Now the time has come for Modoc to harvest the fruits of his labor, and it's up to the summoner to drop in and collect some samples for Modoc to study. Receive a sample collector every day from the special login calendar and use them to enter Island of Dr. Modoc quest and choose one of six class-related paths. Each fight along the path will feature completely randomized buffs, and if you don't like the buff combination, you can re-roll the set. Remember those randomizers? I gotta be honest. I think out of all side quest events, these make me the most anxious and the most frustrated because you could easily go through your randomized dice, at least from what we remember in the past, and still have unbelievably difficult buffs that just make you want to force quit and it's not worth the rewards. So really the rewards are going to have to be good to justify and the PI from these usually range anywhere from 22,000 to 31,000 per defender. Complete the quest to earn gold coins that you can exchange in Hotel Modoc's gift shop. Now, I do like that because the gift shop, unlike Rifts, except for, I guess, the one exception of the chronometer, generally it is a guaranteed outcome for currency. So you give us a certain amount of currency, we'll give you an item. So there isn't this Marvel Casino of Champions gamble. Uh, class solo events, win fights with a specific champion. We, we know all about that. And then Modoc contracts, 13 special objectives will appear at random times throughout the month. Complete these contracts by finding and defeating the champions listed on the special objective and collect your gold coins as a reward. Okay, so the, the Hotel Modoc stores, I think what everybody cares about. In the past, you've gotten a free five-star class-based awakening gem from this, making it really exciting. Keep in mind, we've also seen events like the Squirrel Girl Nut Store, where you can actually use your acorns to get all items if you do everything. And that was really exciting and a pro player move. Okay, now that you've collected all these gold coins, you need a place to spend them. Lucky for you, Modoc has reopened the Hotel Modoc gift shop. Hence, you can spend all of those gold coins on rank up materials like catalysts, items to help you tackle th tough content like potions and revives. I'll take that for another run at the abyss. Or items to empower your champions like awakening gems or signature stones. So... You know what in-game players are going to say. At this point, we don't even care about five-star Awakening Gems. If you're not giving us... I don't think anybody could reasonably expect six-star Awakening Gems from this store at this point. But if you're not giving any six-star signature stones at all, players are just going to be as frustrated as ever. Because they just want to milk those whales for prestige. And those are a lot of the whales that are threatening the boycott right now. Alright, so we've already talked about the Alliance Quest maps. No more cost for map five. That's been covered on the channel. Big bug fixes and improvements to discuss. Nihilus, Black Widow, Clairvoyant, uh, Guillotine 2099, Howard the Duck, Human Torch. 
Hyperion. Special attack two wind breath now properly tagged as a projectile. That might help champs like uh, Daredevil. Judgment Day Synergy, fixed an issue where Black Widow Clairvoyant Ghost Rider's Judgment Day Synergy was not reduced. We're reducing the duration of unstoppable buffs. That's good to know. Mr. Fantastic Heavy Attack will now pause the buffs from his pre-fight ability. Oh. Uh, so a bunch of Sorcerer Supreme. Weakness. Weakness will now react to other modifications to its target's attack rating while it's active. Now, I always look at the bottom of these patch notes because this is where Kabam likes to throw in what sometimes can be referred to as the pork, like kind of Im major improvements or deprovements to the game, but they're at the bottom of the patch notes, so unless you pay attention to them, you may not notice. I'm not sure if this is going to be a big deal, a small deal, no deal, but whenever I see things like a weakness change, which has been around in the game seemingly forever, you just got to keep your eye out for what this could look like, say, even in Alliance Quest. Weakness will now react to other modifications to its target's attack rating while it's active. That sounds like we should be suspicious of what that means. Just keep an eye out for it. Wolverine Weapon X fixed an issue where Wolverine Weapon X was not immune to all regeneration rate modifications and added a top champion portrait for the summoner profiles. That's random. Fixed an issue with the timing of parry after a five-hit combo against some older champions. Okay, no idea how that looks yet. I'll have to keep an eye out for that. Well, I'm a little anxious slash nervous about the weakness update, but hopefully it's nothing and I'm just overreacting. But regardless, we've got the randomized dice again back, and I don't know how to feel about that. If the Modoc store has six-star six stones or cheaper five-star awakening gems for people who need them. Uh, obviously, for me, I'm going to be loading up on those revives and potions, especially the revives for my next progression. Then I'll um, enjoy aspects of it. But when you go in a path, and we saw some total BS last year in these randomized, and you're fighting like Korg, Korg, Emma Frost, Doctor Doom, Korg, and you've got all the BS crazy nodes on them. People just quit. I'm not going to spend a bunch of revives just to get these gold coins. Screw you, Kabam. So that's what I heard last year. We'll see if that happens again. I think the PI of those defenders should go back to being like between at least 18,000 and 22,000 instead of 28,000 to 32,000. Um, that's that would be nice. Well, what do you think about this new side quest? Or are you, you know, you're, are you wanting to boycott and you don't care anyways because you're not going to be playing it? I don't know what you think. Uh, comment below, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching and supporting the Marvel Contest of Champions YouTube channel on this very busy Tuesday. Have a great rest of your day or evening, depending on when you are watching this YouTube.